Today I'm in Strasbourg with Gerald Mason from Tate & Lyle. Now we've been having a problem for the past two years with sugar quotas for the cane sector and that affects, in my constituency of London, Tate & Lyle. 900 jobs are on the line here. Now we've lost the first round with the cap reform and we're looking what we can do to, um, to gain ground in this area. So Gerald, what do you think we should be doing next? Yeah, thanks Marina. Um, there's two key solutions I think that we can work on outside of Europe's agriculture policy. The first one is that there's a quota called the CXL sugar quota where there's a small duty attached to it today. That, that duty is an anachronism now. It was there for historical reasons from the mid-1990s and to make sure cane refiners can compete and consumers get a fair deal we'd like to see that go. And the second one is, um, in Europe's bilateral trade agreement programme, we'd like sugar to increasingly be included in that, so that we as a European manufacturing business can get better access to the raw material that we need to compete after 2017. Thank you, Gerald. So I think the re message we're really saying is, we want beet sugar, we want cane sugar, we want both. There's a pie there, we want equal shares, uh, we want to keep the existing shares. So what I'm saying is um, I will be working now with um, the sugar refineries in the UK, uh, in cane, and we will move forward in the areas that Gerald has said. But this story still has to be played out. There are many jobs at stake and it's my duty as a London MEP to move forward in this area.